with 27 days to go. It's your voice, your vote. And just one day before the VP showdown, there are more signs of a Mitt Romney surge. He is pouring it on in the state he most needs to turn, Ohio. And that's where ABC's David Muir reports from now. Good morning, David. George, good morning to you with the new national polls showing this race now tightening. Mitt Romney here in Ohio looking to build on his momentum, but he had company here, the president here as well, looking to hold on to his slim lead here in the Buckeye State. Dueling rallies in Ohio overnight, the president trying to hold on to his shrinking lead here in front of a crowd of 15,000, his message tailor-made. And when you think about Ohio, and when Governor Romney said that we should let the auto industry go bankrupt, we said, no, we're not going to take your advice. Don't boo, vote. The newest poll shows the president's lead tightening to just four points here in crucial Ohio. Mitt Romney trying to flip the scales in front of his own growing crowds, knowing no Republican has won the White House without Ohio. I've been watching some of the um, uh, uh, President Obama's uh, rallies, and they, they chant uh, four more years, four more years. And today, they're 28 days before the election. I think the right chant ought to be for them four more weeks, four more weeks, all right? But overnight, the Romney campaign answering questions about something else, a new interview in which Romney discusses a crucial social issue, abortion. In an interview, Romney telling the Des Moines Register, there's no legislation with regards to abortion that I'm familiar with that would become part of my agenda. A decidedly different tone from what Romney said about Roe versus Wade during the primaries. Do I believe Supreme Court should overturn Roe v. Wade? Yes. And this is what he said about Planned Parenthood with a St. Louis TV station back in March. Planned Parenthood, we're going to get rid of that. The Obama campaign overnight pouncing. He said he'd be delighted to sign a bill banning all abortions and calling Roe v. Wade one of the darkest moments in Supreme Court history. The Romney campaign saying this new interview is no shift telling ABC News Mitt Romney is proudly pro-life and he will be a pro-life president. With the president still in the lead here in Ohio, Governor Romney was very clear in that overnight rally telling people in the crowd to go back to your neighborhood, find someone who voted for President Obama last time and bring them to our side, George. And David, in clearing up this, this back and forth on abortion, are, are, are they now saying, is the campaign now saying that the governor does still support overturning Roe v. Wade? They won't go that far. They're just saying it doesn't represent a shift, George, but the Obama campaign saying this represents a candidate who's trying to move to the center of more moderate Mitt Romney. So this is clearly an issue that's not going to go away. Okay, David Muir, thanks very much. And Diane Sawyer and I will have live coverage of the next big debate. The VP candidates Joe Biden and Paul Ryan go at it tomorrow at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. We're proud that the moderator will be our friend and colleague, ABC senior foreign affairs correspondent Martha Ratz.